Hey y'all! It's July the 24th, 2015. And I gotta make this video pretty quick. Alright, before I go to work. And no, I cannot tell you where I work. Because they will find out. Through their social networks and I'll probably get in trouble. But I gotta make this video real quick. Before. I, I've been encouraged. And I've been inspired to do it. So I'm going to knock it out real quick. First of all, before I get into the meat of this video, uh, what I really want to discuss, I got I to gotta, I gotta mention that I've been getting some serious encouragement via the internet. People have been commenting on my stuff. I've been getting on certain videos. I get lots of views, you know. Uh, people been sharing my stuff, like, for example, I just made a video about Donald Trump just not even that long ago, maybe like an hour ago, actually a little bit less, and within 15 minutes, a, a guy by the name of Joe Johnson, shout out to Joe Johnson, shared my video. I was like, wow, within 15 minutes, that's crazy. I can't believe it. And also, you know, I made a video uh, about Sandra Bland. It was my second video that I made where I tried to break down my analysis. And people were leaving me comments. People were leaving me some comments on, on, on other videos of mine. And let me tell you, that that's very encouraging. I really appreciate it. I'm about to reply to them and stuff, uh, you know, because I appreciate your support and stuff. And I'll have you know that I get listened to. Now, I know that there's a lot of people on the internet. Most people actually get way, 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 way more views than me. I'm not delusional. But I got to say that people listen to me on the internet way more than in my real life. All right? I like it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anyways, I want to mention, I want to read out some comments that I got on uh, my last video about Sandra Bland. And the uh, first one. Came from someone named Ash Wadwani. I think that that's close to... People always mispronounce my name, so I'm sorry if that's what happened. He said, thanks so much, bro. You're welcome, bro. I appreciate it. He says, some coherence in the chaos is so welcome. And you are a fine example to follow. Thanks, though this all stinks. And it's so difficult to understand. I believe he's referring not to the Sandra Bland incident, but actually the... the the end part when I'm talking about the election. He says, uh, it's so difficult to understand that it makes sense that it might all be a show with actors to see what people are about to distract from real issues. It might be right. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm a genius or that I know everything about anything, but it really seems like it could be, doesn't it? All right, next, uh, next comment, I'm going to have to ask Black Queer Genius what exactly he meant by it and why exactly he's got an albino white boy, a little tiny white boy on his profile picture. And it says, Crack acts, which I believe is supposed to be crackers, uh, are evil from the start. No mercy. <laughs> I don't know if you were trying to make me laugh, but you did. Thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the bottom of that. And you can check out these comments. It's in my sent. We are all Sandra Bland part two video and then next was Andrew Briggs he left a comment that said it's good to see that there are a few people who applied common sense to this situation as an individual an individual who's also black I think that he's black he said you should know how to talk to people he said fight in the court not in the streets which is also what Tommy Sotomayor said and it's pretty much what I'm saying as well or anyone with common sense uh yeah I agree, and it seems like you agree with me, and I appreciate y'all's support, all right? All right, getting that out of the way, uh, I want to leave a link to a video that I saw earlier this morning uh, by Gavin McInnes. Now, I'm a pretty big fan of Gavin McInnes just because I like his view on things, and also I think I really dig his sense of humor. And he made a video, and of course I'm leaving a link below, where he's talking about the fact that of course, I was that Muslim guy, and he killed 
uh, these Marines out of no gun zone where they're not allowed to have guns. Now they're Marines and they're completely trained on uh, how to use a gun, how to be safe with it. And uh, But, you know, they're not allowed to have them for whatever reason. That does not make sense. And so they got killed by some Muslim who understood that they wouldn't have guns. All right. And then, I mean, it's a... As absurd as it, and it only gets more and more absurd. Uh, then Obama went ahead and tweeted out, oh man, I hope everybody's doing good on Ramadan. I'm not going to say shit about the Marines, uh, but I hope that y'all aren't tripping on Ramadan and stuff. I hope it's all good. And I'm not going to say shit about no Marines. And then Hillary Clinton said something else about, about Muslim people too. And so that made uh, Gavin McKenna is pretty upset because here's the thing. If you're the president of the United States and you're the damn secretary of state, uh, you should, uh, care when Marines get killed at a place where you set them up like sitting there. But you don't. Instead, you care about the feelings of Muslim people, uh, and hope that their feelings didn't get hurt by the fact that a Muslim person killed a whole bunch of Marines. And that made him pretty upset, and I gotta admit, it, that made me pretty upset, too. But I, uh, I also saw, you know, uh, and I'll leave a uh, link to this. Right after that, I saw a video by Bill Bunting, who also goes real, real hard. All right. And he and he said, you know what? I mean, y we have to not get distracted. We're too late in the game to get distracted, meaning that a lot of people are going to get upset at Muslims right now. And I got to say, that's pretty fair to do. Because it's Muslims who's going around shooting people. But the thing is, in that aspect, you actually are getting distracted. All right? Because it might have been a Muslim who pulled the trigger. But the thing is, that's an effect. And the cause to that effect is that we are all being lied to, to our face. All the time. The cause starts with the damn federal government, and we can't keep letting them get off the hook, all right? As a Christian, uh, you know, at first, with the whole Muslim hysteria this morning, I was like, man, I just want to go on the internet and say, you know what, forget Muhammad, um, and you know what, you want to come kill me, come do it. Just come do it. Uh, but the thing is, there's no, it's not even necessary to do that. I mean, I hear things about Muhammad that I got to say I don't really understand and I, and I got to say I don't agree with. But also, I don't have to go out and speaking bad about him because he's not really doing anything to me right now. And also, never in my life to this day have I had Muslims come up to me and disrespect me. All right, but every single day of my damn life, the federal government disrespects me to my face. All right, so I, I mean, I got to just reiterate, and I, I, I had to back Bill Bunting on this. Stop looking at Muslims as though they're the cause. They're not the cause. They're simply the effect to a cause, and the cause is that we are constantly being lied to by the federal government of the United States of America through uh, and also corporations through the media on the television, uh, which is designed to kill our brains. All right, so I'm going to say this. We're in a serious, serious state right now. We are absolutely in war here on American soil. So I want to I speak out right now to all the crazy people, and I know that this is going to be controversial. They're going to make it controversial, although it's not. All the crazy people out here, whether you're Christian, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Mexican, whether you're a lesbian, whether you're uh, homophobic or whatever. If you're crazy, if you're going crazy and you're starting to lose it and you're seeing this video, I want to beg you right now. If you feel like killing somebody... Don't do it. If you feel like you lost it and you, you, you don't have any hope 
and you just want some recognition, and you're feeling like the only way you're going to get it is by killing somebody, I'm begging you right now as a Christian and as your brother, don't do it. That's sincerely how I feel. It's not worth it because your life, I know, I know you feel like you have nothing. But your life, I promise you, is more important than to mess it up by going out and trying to prove something by killing someone. And if you feel like you have no one to turn to or talk to right now, you can you can contact me through the internet. And we'll figure out a way that you can overcome this without killing somebody. It is not worth it. Dare I say it's never worth it. Alright? But, on the other hand, if you're going to kill somebody, and if I cannot beg you enough to not kill somebody, if there's nothing that I can do or say to you to keep you from killing somebody, taking someone's life unnecessarily, then this is what I'm going to say to you. You need to kill somebody in the federal government. Not a federal government worker. I'm talking about a federal government official, a federal government authority, and I'm also not inciting you to do it because I'm begging you, do not kill anybody at all. It is not worth it. Do you understand? This is the, the Christian doctrine. There's no reason to ever kill somebody. But you have to understand if you are dead set on killing somebody, and there's nothing that I can do to stop you, you you may as well kill the right people. Because we are being lied to completely by the federal government. And you know why they do it? They do it because these are people who are bought and paid for, and they get in their positions and they think, well, I can just lie my whole entire life. I can keep lying to these people. You, you want to know why? Because they're going to turn around and kill each other, and I'm going to line up my pockets, and I'm going to get all sorts of kickbacks. And everything's going to be splendid for me. I'm, all I had to do is lie and lie and lie and keep lying and keep bullshitting while these people turn around and kill each other. Why? Because they're animals. That's how they think about you. That's what they think of you. So if you have to kill somebody, if you have to and I can't stop you from doing it, Well, then why not kill the right people? Why not kill the people who put you in this place for real, the causes to these effects? These people who think nothing of you, who love to see you in prison, who love to see you getting raped, who love to see little girls getting raped, who love to see people go to jail all day for laws that they've created, uh, who, who love to see... Certain religions go at each other's throat just because they think they can lie and lie and lie and continue to lie and tear down our country. The greatest country ever built just because they can lie and lie and lie their whole life and have y'all kill each other. That's something to think about. I just want to end it up by saying I'd rather you didn't kill anybody. I'd rather we did this civilly. All right? That's what I'm about. So if there's anything that I can do, contact me, please. We'll figure out a way that does not involve you killing somebody. And I certainly am also not going to go around killing people. All right? Let's have some common sense and... Let's figure this thing out. This is July the 24th, 2015. This more than likely is the end of days. The only people who have uh, the power to turn this around is me and you. 